Hey my lovelies, Serene Dream here with another Fill Me In General Energy reading. And if you're new to my channel, this reading could apply at any time that you find it. It is timeless. It can resonate with you for the day, the week, the month, or even the year. Um, but it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So only take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse the messages if that's how it fits your situation. And if you would like to check out your monthly zodiac readings, um, or your general forecast for the rest of the year or your love forecast for the rest of the year, you can check out the Vimeo links in the description box to view those. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, link to that information can be found below as well. And follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And let's go ahead and get into your messages for this time. Okay, I'm getting um, a visual and I'm kind of hearing uh, like back in like the slavery days when the slaves would play drums to send a signal out to other slaves. And like the slave masters would just believe that they were just playing music or whatever, but it's like they were sending messages through the drums. I'm getting that. So I feel like what, what I'm picking up from this is that you have some kind of secret coding or language going on between, it's, it's some kind of secret language going on between you and somebody else. It's like you and them, you know how to communicate and let everything it is that you want to be known, you can let each other know that without anybody else knowing what is going on. So to everybody else, they would see or hear whatever it is you're you're putting out there. And I feel like you're doing this like in an open on an open platform. So this could be more than likely on social media or even if you are in person, it's like you're interacting or you're doing like signals and stuff like bodily signals or something to let each other know like what the deal is or what the plans are or what you're just whatever the, you're trying to communicate, you have a secret way of communicating with each other and people around who are observing, they have no clue that that's what's going on. But I feel like um at this time, you have a lot of that going on because it's like you're you're building up to something and it makes sense on why i was getting the the message about like the slaves with the drums sending messages with the drums because usually that was used as a way to plot and escape so they would send these messages like play these drums in a certain pattern to send messages to the other slaves to let them know that they're going to run away tonight so yeah i feel like that's kind of what's going on here is like there's secret communication going on because it's building up to something between you and this other person and I, I also get like I'm uh I feel like I'm getting the slavery analogy because I feel like something about the connection or relationship between you and this person you feel bound by something you feel as if you can't freely communicate you can't freely uh, interact with each other or be together if this is a romantic situation it's something sort of forbidden about it so it's like you're you're wanting to get to a point where you can be free to like interact and just you know be with each other the way you want to be with each other or interact with each other the way you want to interact with each other there's some kind of like divide between the two of you i'm hearing socially that makes you all feel that you can't um just openly like interact be together whatever and this is what you're trying to free yourselves from. So it's like you're plotting almost this quote unquote escape from this life where you have to be bound to these social places that divide you. And I'm getting like, I don't know why I'm picking up so much slavery metaphors, but yeah, it's uh, analogies. But like when slaves would run away to like Canada and because that was where they could be free. And um, and it was other places too, but for some reason I got Canada. So yeah, I just get that you're wanting to go somewhere 
you're building up to something to be able to be together or connect with each other in a more free way than where you are, the place you're at now with each other. I'm hearing prying eyes. So like the biggest problem for you at this time and why you feel like you have to be so secretive in your communication is because I feel like there are a lot of eyes that are watching like both of you individually. And it could be even some eyes who are watching, like keeping eyes on the connection between the two of you. There could be some people or a person who suspects that something is going on between the two of you, but it's they don't have any solid proof. So they're just kind of like taking mental notes to keep an eye on you to see if they can get any proof, but you're not giving them that satisfaction. You're not giving them anything. And then there are other people who are watching you all individually and trying to see like what you're up to in your individual lives, but they have no clue that you even have a connection with each other, that you have this secret uh, language with each other. But yeah, this is what you're trying to get. You're trying to get away from the prying eyes and just come together and be the way you want to be with each other. And I get this energy like you both, I'm picking this up more so as a romantic situation, but it could be even like a business partnership, friendship, something but i'm picking up more strongly like romantic energy here because i'm getting that you both like you each have something that you both like you each can benefit from so it's like coming together would actually be a huge benefit for the both of you because what one lacks the other one has and that could be like exactly what the other one was needing in order to like move to the next level so yes yeah, like you're both coming in with something major to um present to the other to help elevate one another and as a result elevate together i'm getting this energy like i just got that somebody's like let's just tell the truth like what you're it's like you might start off with doing this whole secret communication thing and trying to find a way to escape the prying eyes and just kind of find a way to sneak around and be together without anybody finding out. But I feel like you all, at least somebody in this coupling is going to reach a point where they're just like, you know what? How about we just be honest? Like, how about we just be open and just let everybody know what's going on? Like, somebody doesn't want to hide anymore because you all could, you know, hook up, do the whole sneaky link thing and sneaky link thing and just you know sneak around with each other but and I feel like at first you all may mutually agree to do that but something about like it's like you're gonna reach a point where one of you are gonna be like I'm not doing like let's not do that let's just be like what are we hiding for like we're grown like we don't because the thing about it is I don't feel like there's anything that's legally binding you to be divided and and keeping you all from being together it's just like a social thing like i feel like you all just kind of have like your separate social circles and it, it's like very separate and these two social social circles just don't they're not known to come together and um intermingle so it was like to the both of you when you found that you were being drawn to each other it just kind of felt like you were falling in love with the kid on the wrong side of the tracks. Like that's kind of like the feeling I'm getting here. But unlike back then, there's no law that forbids you from being together. It's just like, this is how it's always been done. You always stick to people in your circle and that's it. But, and I feel like you all were trying to respect that and just do things the way they were normally done but it's like you just kept being getting drawn back to each other and so you created this secret language like you started to connect and for some of you this is like telepathic communication that you have with one another and that just kept building and it just kept getting stronger and you started to create this plan on how you're kind of gonna escape and be free together elsewhere away from these people and these prying eyes and these social standings that you're used to 
But I feel like you all are going to break protocol, so to speak, and say, like, why are we hiding again? Like, yeah, we don't, people don't normally do that. Like, the, the people from where we are don't normally come together. But, like, it's no law or anything says that we can't. So I'm hearing, like, why don't we be the first? Like, you're, somebody is, the, somebody in this coupling is like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to hide. The other person is going to agree. And then once you all get on one accord, you all are going to move to the next level and decide to just be open with your relationship, regardless of how anybody feels about it. Because I also get like there could have even been like an issue where you were concerned about how your relationship was going to affect others emotionally. Like maybe, like I said, there could have been a, for, there, there could be a forbidden energy around it. Like there could be some kind of, issue where um an ex of one of the people involved may feel the way about the two of you coming together or like a friend of this could be like even a situation where a friend had a crush on one of the people that's involved in this coupling but nothing ever happened between them and this person but they would still feel a way if they see their friend get the person that they wanted. It's just something like that. So I feel like that could have also been uh, part of the reason why these two people were trying to be careful in how they like decided to come together because they're like, I don't want to cause no drama with my friend and, you know, your ex and these people and what would they have to say? But I just feel like you're just going to get fed up and say, I'm not going to. Like, why are we hiding? We don't have to do that. We are grown. And if they feel the way, like, they're just going to have to deal with it. Because it's like you realize, it's like you're going to reach a point where you realize that you are living your life for other people. But it's like you come to the conclusion that, or you just start to think like, well, when are we going to start living life for ourselves? Like, we've lived life for everybody else up until now. But when are we going to start living for us? Like, for our individual selves and what makes us happy. And I feel like that's really going to be the thing that gets the other person on board and say, yeah, yeah, like, you're right. Like, we need to just focus on what makes us happy. Like, if people don't agree with it, then that's their problem. But we shouldn't have to hide when, you know, we're not doing anything wrong. Because I really do feel like it's, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just you all are, if I'm just to be, Frank, like I'm picking up, you could be a couple of people pleasers. Like you just don't like to upset people, piss people off, or just, you don't like to have any like uh backlash or nothing negative said about you. You could be the kind of person who likes to avoid, both of you could have an issue to different extents on people pleasing, uh, with people pleasing. But yeah, I feel like you all like are so drawn to each other that and that in the beginning could have been the people pleasing factor could have been the the thing that has kept you apart up until now because you were just like okay maybe I should just drop it because it's going to be too difficult for us to come together everybody going to have something to say how are they going to look at us like how are we going to think have what they're going to think about us coming together it's like you just have all those thoughts in your head and you're just like you know what it's not even worth it I'm just going to let it go but when you kept trying to let it go it's like you kept being drawn back together like magnets until the point where you started to communicate in this special way and start to create a plan to say okay we have to be together because I can't get you off of my mind I just I think about you all the time and I I really want to be with you these two people have already fallen in love possibly before they even touched each other before they even had a real conversation Because I feel like they have some sort of, there's some kind of special energy between these two people that they don't, I don't feel like there's a lot of physical interaction going on here. There's not a lot of like, you're not, you all aren't like sitting around, like there could be, but I'm not getting that it's like you're hanging out, having these deep conversations, not even on the phone. It's like, I'm not getting that you're seeing each other, like uh, hanging out and talking and Uh, having sex or none of that I don't feel like none of that has gone on I don't feel like you even shared a kiss like I feel like somehow there has been some kind of special um 
connection between you two from the moment you laid eyes on each other and from that moment the connection just can like continue to intensify and from that it's like you were able to like connect with each other without physically connecting with each other so through that you could have developed telepathic communication you could have found a way to like subliminally communicate message each other not physically message each other but like I said, with the whole analogy with the drums, like communicating, it's like you found a way to communicate without actually communicating. And I feel like that's that like you've gone through all those stages. So like the next natural stage after where you've built up to with the secret language, secret communication is to actually be together. This is what you both desire. And I feel like that's what you're both working toward. That's what you're going to have. But the problem is that the way you probably try to make it happen initially with you all like creating something physical from this you're trying to find a sneaky way to do it because you don't want to upset people or upset the social standing or whatever the balance of things but like i said you're both going to reach a point where you're just like why are we hiding and then you're just going to come out with it so yeah i feel like this has been a special this is a divine connection here no doubt about it because i feel like these two people have been drawn together without so much as so much as even touching each other in any kind of way but they've always like remain connected they've always um shown each other like revealed themselves to one another in in a distant way so for instance if these are two people who will like keeping tabs on each other via social media like the two people like post things about themselves to let the other know their whereabouts so like this person learned a lot like these people learned a lot about each other maybe through posts that they were making like they learned their favorite color where they're from you know what they do and all this kind of stuff like they just learn like everything that you would possibly know uh, or learn when you're actually dating somebody the regular way but it's just the only thing missing is the physical component. And I feel like the time has come for that to happen. And I feel like you all are both very hyped about that. You're extremely ecstatic about the thought of like actually making this a real physical thing because you've been longing for each other on like a soul level. This is a very interesting reading. This is not gonna resonate with many people. But yeah, I'm definitely getting that this is not a this is not for anybody who's been dealing with anybody in a physical type of way. This is someone who's been like communicating with um people who have been communicating with one another in the spiritual, very spiritual type of way. I get this energy like It's like you're going to make a plan to make this thing real, to make it a physical thing. But like I said, you're going to alter the plan and change it from being a sneaking type of situation to just deciding just to be. But I get like in order to get to that step where you just kind of like let things hang out and not really care what anybody has to say it's like you're give me a moment i'm just trying to tune in more to this message here yeah it's like once you do what you do whatever you do to make this thing real you're just like you go from worrying a lot about the consequences to not worrying at all to not worrying at all and just kind of leaving it all in god's hands so i feel like once you do what you do to turn this thing into a real thing it's like you just sit back and just let god lead the way with the remaining steps of the relationship you're just like okay we've come together and whatever happens happens so i feel like from that moment when you all like make it real um like you actually connect physically in whatever way from that moment you're gonna like decide not to put so much pressure on things moving a certain way between you because you're going to it's like you're both going to decide that it's best like you've allowed God to lead this connection 
all this time is like you're deciding to let him continue to lead the two of you further on so yeah you're just like okay we're gonna we made this connection but it's it's kind of like now what but instead of you like really thinking now what you're just like okay we we came together so we'll let god do his thing whatever he wants to happen between us won't be we're not gonna put no pressure on it we're not gonna put no labels on it we're just going to we're just gonna be and enjoy each other and enjoy this space that we're finally sharing together but let me tell you something I was here, I was going to say both, but I'm getting specifically the masculine. The masculine is going to be happier than a pig in mud. Like they are going to be so over the moon that this is finally real for them. Because I'm not saying that the feminine is not going to be just as happy or happy herself, but it's just something very special like about the masculine, the masculine's happiness and with this whole coming together this is something that he feels especially proud of because i feel like it wasn't it wasn't an easy road for either of you to get here but i feel like the masculine in particular i'm hearing like he's never had anything good in his life or he feels like he's never had anything good in his life so the fact that he was able to do good enough to get something this worth it something this amazing he feels very proud of himself. And so it's more than just having you, like it's a happiness that comes from him being proud of himself. The fact that this is to him, having you is the, the, like the reward. And um, he feels like God is finally rewarding him for something when he feels like God has never really rewarded him for anything in his life. So yeah, he's like really, really happy. And I do feel like God is going to keep his hand strongly on this connection to make sure that it moves in a certain way. So it's, it's a good thing that you all are relinquishing control to the divine because I feel like even if you try to control it, God will snatch that control from you and guide it himself as he's been guiding it all this time before you connect it in the, in the 3D or in a real way. It's like he has it all mapped out, all planned out for how things are going to happen between you. And I feel like you're going to be very pleased, both of you, with the result and how like everything that unfolds from this relationship. It's a very blessed relationship, a very blessed divine union here that I'm picking up on. And God has, it's a special blessing over each of you individually but it's an extra blessing over the union between the two of you now i can say going back to those people that you were afraid of upsetting about you know the two with you two coming together they are going to be mad like you're going to have haters I feel like you're going to have people trying to find a way to break you two up or come between you. Because, yeah, I feel like, it, like I said earlier, like you at first are going to try to create a plan to come together quietly without anybody knowing. But then you're just going to like throw caution to the wind and say, no, like we don't have to do that. And I feel like you're going to be like, not, I'm not saying you're going to make like a full announcement like, hey, we're together, you know, guess what? Like, no, I just feel like you're going to like do something very subtle, like make a very subtle move that's going to be like, that's going to speak volumes about like what's going on between you. And this could even be like, I don't know, like a follow on social media or like a post on social media, like you just post a picture of your like of each other or a picture of you two together or something like that it's just some it's some like a really small move that you just say we're not gonna hide why not just post this why not follow each other you know just something like that i don't feel like it's gonna be a full announcement it's just a simple like it could even be like the two of you like uh hanging out right and then like one of you pulls out a phone to like record a quick story, you know, and they, you tag, you like the person posted tags the other in it. And then the one who's tagged shares it on their story. So that's how it becomes public knowledge. 
or you know that you're together that you're seeing each other that you're connected and um or it could even be something as simple as like you share a photo of the other like you just the person may decide to just post a picture they like of you on their social media you could do the same you know or just either or and that just makes everything i just get like it's just going to be some really small gesture but it's going to mean a lot like people know that when you make this move that it means something that the two of you are doing this because i feel like the two of you probably never do this i feel like this is kind of a first time move or something like that or it's something you do very rarely so like when people see it they're gonna know that this means something like this person must be someone that they're like sweet on you know something like that and i feel like from that moment the people especially the people who are keeping their eye on the two of you like because they suspected something was going on they especially might be like really trying to figure out a way to come between you or like to uh break it up like before it gets further like they're gonna be super like hating very hard but I feel like you're not going to have to worry about any kind of energy they're sending your way because, again, it's like a protection and a blessing around this union. God is guiding it. So you're going to be so stuck in your bliss and happiness together that you're not going to worry about these people and what they're trying to do. Because I feel like whatever they try, they're not going to succeed. They're just going to be over there mad and they're going to get even more mad when their attempts don't work either. So, yeah, don't worry about them. But yeah, that was an interesting reading. That's all I have for you all for this filmy and general energy reading. I hope it, I hope it was helpful to someone. I understand that it's a very specific message and it's not going to resonate with everyone, but um, hopefully the next message will, or one of my other previous ones will probably resonate with you now. But um, again, if you'd like to check out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of the year, or your love forecast. For the rest of the year, go ahead and um, click on the Vimeo links below to view those. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, go ahead and um, click on the link to my website in the description box as well. Follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And I will be back with my readings, lovelies. Bye.